Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your Windows operating system look like this. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and it will take you to my website, which is where you will find all the links that you need for this tutorial. You now need to click on the first link that's on my website and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to press download beta and you need to go save file. You now need to run the setup file and you need to go OK. And we want to install the standard installation and you want to install the 64-bit if you have a 64-bit operating system and you want to launch Rainmeter on startup. Once you're happy with that you can press install and press finish to run the Rainmeter. You now need to right click on all these windows and just go unload skin. Once you have finished doing that you now need to click on the second link that's on my website and you will go onto a page that looks like this. You now need to press download and go open with rain meter. You now need to go install and you will now notice your desktop has changed a little bit which is great it means everything is working absolutely fine. You now need to close down this window. You now need to right click on the right hand side here and go to Enigma and go to sidebar. You now need to click on sidebar at the top. And you now need to do the same on this side. Right click again, go to Enigma and then go down to sidebar and go down to sidebar down the bottom and just make sure that's selected as well. You now need to go to taskbar and select taskbar. You should now have four black bars as you can see on my screen. It's now basically down to you how you want to customize this. Each time you right click on the black bar you can select an option. For example if I go to sidebar and go to calendar I can click on calendar and now I have a calendar which I can place wherever I want on my screen. I'm just going to place it there for now. You can then right click again and then go to sidebar and go to music but we've already got music down the bottom right here so we don't need to do that but we could go to network graph and we now have a graph that shows what our network's doing and we could drag that below our calendar if we want or we could even put it to the right hand side you can then right click again and go on to taskbar and go on to I don't know, um, let's have a little look here. We could go on to Launcher. In here you have a few Launcher options. If we go on to Launcher 1 and go on to Icon, that's for Google Chrome, which means when I click on Chrome, it will now launch Google Chrome. And you could obviously do the same again, add a, another one to the top, Launcher 2, and we can add Notepad. I believe you can change which applications are on this as well in the settings. But if you do a little bit of research, it won't be hard to find out how to do it. If we right click again and go onto Enigma, we can now go onto weather and we can have our weather on our desktop if we want on the right hand side here. You can customize that as well. It's all run through Yahoo. And it's basically that easy. Once you've finished customizing all that, like I said, it, it really is as simple as just moving everything around and adding it. Once you're happy with everything you selected, I believe there's over a hundred options as well, which is fantastic. A lot of customization there. Once you've finished doing that, you can now click on the second link that's in the description below and you will get the wallpaper, which you can right click and go set as desktop background. Make sure you got it as position fill and go set desktop background. And there we go. That really is looking nice now. And the last thing is the clock for the center of our screen, which you will find the link again on my website. It will be the last link. You now need to go on to download and go open with rain meter and go install. If we now minimize our web browser, as you can see, the clock is already there and we can just position it. You can also change the color of this clock by right clicking on the clock and going to arcs and then going on to dark. And there you go, it changes the color. 
and let's just change it back because I prefer the white and it's really as easy as that. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.